All right, welcome back to the uh, SmackDown results for this week, as, lo- as well as Superstars and First, as promised from yesterday. Randy Orton's video of him smoking. That's the fan for it. to the show. Alright, uh, uh, there was words sent, sent uh, from uh, a fan. The WWE has released uh, Alberto Del Rio's theme song on iTunes. Uh, WWE has recently issued a memo to talents notifying them that they can no longer sign autographs on money, clothing, or people's skin. This comes from, uh, after a top WWE star recently signed a fan's expensive leather jacket. The next day, an angry parent called the WWE officials and complained that the jacket was ruined, forcing WWE to reimburse the parent for the jacket. Uh, after being eliminated on last night's WWE Tough Enough, Miss USA, Rima Faki, hinted that uh, to the fans that she was not gone from, uh, for good from WWE, as it speculated all, uh, all along that no matter what the outcome of Tough Enough was, that Rima would, would have a job with WWE anyways. <clears throat> Top reality TV personality and former TNA personality Johnny Fairplay indicated on Twitter this afternoon or yesterday that he had a meeting with WWE at the SmackDown tapings, which is tonight, in Greensboro, North Carolina, this afternoon, near his home in Virginia, he wrote, Possibly the greatest meeting of my life at WWE. Fair Play's wife, Michelle Dayton, uh, left uh, WWE Tough Enough the week before last. It should be noted that it's not confirmed yet that Fair Play met with WWE officials. Raw injury update from, la- uh, from last night's Raw. Jim Ross wrote the following on his Twitter from last night after all. Hand throbbing x-rays Tuesday being today. Cold tooth went to the bone of my fist. Not an artistic masterpiece. Dropping bombs. Uh, leather strap sun. Ugh. <clears throat> Disheartening when fans ki- uh, kill one's effort or work. All we can do is g- give 100% effort. That happened. I'm sore as hell, but we'll battle Sunday on the pay-per-view. At the moment, I can't hold leather uh, leather strap tonight, but Sunday I'll do what it takes. Won't be pretty, but will be nasty. Fair play versus Lawler at a bar. There was talk that CM Punk is looking to leave WWE when his contract expires in a few months. The possibility of Punk leaving the, has been discussed internally for some time now, but the talk p- picked up during the recent European tour. Thus, he's not being in the, in the championship picture as of late. Sources report that Punk has been offered a new long-term deal with the WWE, but hasn't signed it yet. Word is that he, he's burnt out with being on the road for, for so many years and unhappy unhappy with his position in the company over the last year. Punk could sign the deal with WWE any time with more sources talking about Punk leaving. It's a, it's a possibility. <coughs> Punk has not re-signed a new deal 
And that's the reason he's been downplayed as of late. If you notice Punk getting pushed, all of a sudden, out of nowhere, that probably means he has his final re finally re-signed. The topic of Punk leaving WWE started on the European tour and continued at Raw last night. Apparently, Punk has also been t telling people close to him that he's interested in taking time off. We hope to have, have more later. All right, what you've all been waiting for, the supplemental draft that happened earlier today. All these wrestlers are going to SmackDown, uh, going to Raw first. Jack Swagger goes to Raw. Kelly Kelly goes to Raw. JTT goes to Raw. Drew McIntyre goes, goes to Raw. Kurt Hawkins goes to Raw. Chris Masters goes to Raw. Kofi Kingston goes to Raw. Tyler Rex. And finally, since they advertised it, they went ahead and went with it. Best fit it to, to Raw. And those are going to SmackDown. Greg Colley and Ron Jensen go from Raw to SmackDown. Daniel Bryan also goes to SmackDown. Jimmy Uso and his brother also go uh, also go, go to SmackDown. Alicia Fox goes to SmackDown. William Regal goes to SmackDown. Though he's already on uh, on, on some of the SmackDown tours. Yoshi Tatsu go, goes to SmackDown. Natalya also goes to SmackDown. Ted DiBiase Jr. goes to SmackDown. Tyson Kidd goes to SmackDown. Tamina go, goes to SmackDown. <coughs> and... Sheamus goes to SmackDown, and last but not least, a Rye himself goes to SmackDown. Thus, can Miz do it by himself? a Rye commented on his, uh, fa his Facebook account that he possibly is he's going to stay on both shows because of his job, quote-unquote, with The Miz. Okay, below are the com uh, some of the com uh, comments. Uh, uh, I should say the following are, are comments from various superstars and divas on their on the 2011 draft. The Miz is quoted, triple threat, still a cage. Cena going to SmackDown and win a draft pick. Back on Raw, a Rye to SmackDown. Any other obstacles for the champ? And the Bella Twins uh, comment. See, we have a lot of competition now on Monday Night Raw. Guess at Mar Eve Marie Torres needs all the help she can get. Chance for life. Being in WWE draft. That, uh, that's uh, being in Nikki and uh, Bree. Ted, Ted DiBiase uh, just says SmackDown. William Regal comments, uh, this will be my only tweet till later tonight, but it seems I'm now on SmackDown. I'm pretending I'm uh, trending. No idea what that is. How lovely. Daniel Bryan uh, says, Just landed in Vegas and found out I, I got drafted to SmackDown. Very happy with this move. And trend to WWE draft. John Cena is uh, quoted by saying, C Nation, holy hogwash. Trending WWE draft was amazing. First and last pick. Damn well, uh... uh now I gotta get gotta focus on WWE Championship. Beth Phoenix is uh, quoted uh, Monday nights. Just not, just got more glamour. Coffee Kingston's uh, quoted by saying, "Well, hot damn, back to the red team." Trans WWE draft. JTG quotes uh, in, in the words of the late old dirty bastard. He he's quoted himself. Oh baby, I like it raw. Oh, baby, I like it. Raw. Chee. New SmackDown Superstar Henry, Mark Henry, signed up for a Twitter account at MH61271. WWE noted that his account name will be changed soon. So if you go to look for him on your Twitter accounts, there you go. It's a, just a fair warning that his account will change. Jim Ross uh, uh, and his barbecue products will be at the Legends of the Ring convention on May 7th in Monroe, New Jersey. All other stars appearing include MVP, Kurt Angle, Sonny, Dusty Rhodes, Big Van Vader, Carlito, China, Ken Shamrock, Lacey Von Eric, Perry Saturn, Paul Bearer, Diamond Dallas Page, and more. Former Nexus member Michael Tarver continued to tease that he will be returning to action soon. Tarver, who has been 
making appearances in FCW, wrote the following on his Twitter. I will I will bend without question, but I don't break. I'll come back bigger, stronger, and angry. Unquote. Some backstage uh, last night at, uh, at Raw believed that Sin Cara being traded to SmackDown was done mostly so they can edit his uh, in-ring entrances. Uh, uh, matches before they air on TV, WWE didn't want Cara and Rey Mysterio on the same brand as both were drafted. Happy birthday goes to the following wrestler superstars. Former WCW stars Tank Abbott turned 46. Ron Rice turns 41. And celebrating today as well as TNA's Amazing Red. He turned 29. And one half of the world of the WWE Tag Team Champions, Kane, turned 44. Hall of Famer Road Warrior Animal was uh, in the hospital over the weekend with a case of bronchitis. He has since been released. June 13th, Monday Night Raw taping in the Nassau Coliseum in Uniondale, New York, will be headlined by John Cena, Randy Orton versus CM Punk and The Miz. According to advertising in, in the area, notice and warning even the t uh, tickets say card subject to change, which protects them from any refunds or whatever, since the draft split wrestlers to different shows. Despite being drafted to Raw, Big Show will still be appearing on both brands as he and Kane are the WWE Tag Team Champions. WWE has released a new authentic Seamus Croy t-shirt. Bret Hart wrote on, the following, uh, on his uh, Twitter last night about his appearance on WWE Tough Enough. The main points I said were to never hurt yourself or your opponent and to never forget the fans inside you that was sitting in the, in the stands. Because they edited what he actually said on the Tough Enough program. Former world champion Bill Goldberg, who gave Bret Hart what turned out to be the pretty much a career-ending concussion back in 1999, replied with the following, I feel like you were talking to me. That's the reply from Bret Hart's uh, comments. Uh, WWE Studios movie. That's What I Am with Randy Orton will be released on DVD May 17th. As it will be available in select theaters this coming Friday. Despite John Cena being drafted to Raw last night, there was talk up until Sunday night of keeping him on the SmackDown brand with the idea that Randy Orton was hot enough to maybe face a carry Raw by himself. Obviously, WWE decided against that and sent Orton to SmackDown instead. And spoilers for the Smack uh, for the SmackDown brand for N uh, see, uh, spoilers for NXT first dark match Johnny Curtis pin the uh, newest SmackDown star Alex Riley with an inside cradle before the match Riley cut a promo saying he was now on the SmackDown brand and would and would show he didn't need the Miz I've been saying that along to me. Alex Riley's got more talent than Miz any day. Okay, and now for your NXT. They held a How Well Do You Know You're Pro segment. Jacob Novak, what a pretty bad segment. Titus O'Neil defeated Darren Young with a sit-down spine buster. Young pulled out of a uh, figure four leg lock in, in North Carolina, so there was lots of woos. JTG and Jacob Novak come out. Novak calls out William Regal. Regal takes a mic, mic and uh, rips on Novak, then challenges him to, to a match right now. Novak says no because he has, a, he has a match this week and says he'll face Regal next week. <clears throat> Jacob Novak and JTG defeated Vladimir Kozlov and Conor O'Brien after a boot to O'Brien. The crowd was very much behind Kozlov and O'Brien. Novak was uh, was made out of out of made out to be the star of the match, fighting off a double team for the win. The Greensboro crowd was was super hot during a, a video package of the draft from last from last night last night's Raw. Very pro Cena crowd. There was a backstage segment where Maurice says her purse was destroyed. She yells 
Uh, she tells uh, Yoshi Tatsu that Lucky Cannon did it. Myron Saxon told Tatsu that maybe he should be paying pay, pay better attention to being Saxon's pro. Lucky Cannon, Lucky Cannon defeated Byron Saxon. Lucky gets the win by disqualification after interference from Yoshi Tatsu. And that is your apparent ending. And now what you've been waiting for, SmackDown portion of Superstars, will show the following was taped tonight, April 26th in Greenboro, Greensboro, North Carolina. Tyson Kidd defeated Trent Beretta by submission. And SmackDown results. The opening to the show has been modified to include the new draft draftees, the, the new drafted superstars. WWE Tag Team Champions Kane and Big Show versus The Core and Mark Henry versus Rey Mysterio is announced for later tonight. SmackDown opens with Randy Orton coming out to a huge pop. Introducing himself to the SmackDown fans, Drew McIntyre, wearing a Raw shirt, comes out and interrupts. McIntyre goes for his DDT on Orton, but Orton slips out and drills him with the RKO. Alex Riley kind of comes out to interrupt, but before he can get, uh, even say a word, he eats an RKO, RKO as well. The crowd's loving it so far. Alberto Del Rio and his crew come out. <coughs> it's like uh, they're going to attack Orton, but Christian comes in to make the save. Teddy Long is uh, out to announce tonight's main event, Christian and Randy Orton versus Alberto Del Rio and Broadus Clay. Kofi Kingston then attempts to come, come out to the ring after, the next, after a segment, and uh, but is attacked by Sheamus. Sheamus connects with a broad kick. Sheamus is... Okay, boy, that's a mess. It says Sheamus is helped to the back. Probably by the officials. That's probably what that means. There was an in-ring promo uh, by a heavily bruised Michael Coleslaw, who brings out Jack Swagger. Cole does a big call to mock Jim Ross. Swagger versus San Cara. Uh, Cara uh, nails the entrance. The match is being worked with old school Kane style mood. Light, lighting with blue and orange lighting. Kara dominated and won with a victory roll after Cole landed a landed sw uh, Swagger a, a weapon that Swagger never got got a chance to use. Sakara was way over with the crowd. Kane and Big Show defeated Heath Slater and Justin Gabriel to retain the World Tag Team Championship. Backstage segment with Rey Mysterio being wished well on Raw by the great Khali and Rondon Sin after Rey Lee's a large man of Indian descent appears. Kali and Sins uh, uh, treat him like a big deal, and they all speak in, hin in Hindi together. So, it's unknown what his name is, so just wait and see what happens, what they call him on SmackDown when they do the editing. There is an in-ring promo to, uh, by Ray, Myst uh, Ray Mysterio where he talks about how it is hard to leave SmackDown, but he promises that he would beat Cody Rhodes in a, at Extreme Rules. Mysterio defeated Mark Henry by disqualification. Not a bad match. Ray Neal, the 619. Cody attacked Ray in the crowd. Henry walked out laugh laughing after the match. Rhodes put, put a paper bag over Ray's face. Michelle McCool uh, versus Layla Lay L goes to a double count out. There was a big let them fight chant after they are held apart by officials. Layla issued a challenge for a no DQ. No count out match at Extreme Rules. Michelle McCool accepts and adds a loser leave SmackDown stipulation. Layla accepts. Matt Stryker interviews Christian, who discusses his title match at Extreme Rules and Edge's retirement. Christian says it's his destiny to earn the right to be called world champion. And your main event is, uh, was Randy Orton and Christian defeating. Alberto Del Rio and Brodus Clay when Orton pins Brodus with the, after the RKO. And that ends your results for SmackDown. And see y'all next week when I do Raw again.